Reviews, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoy, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridal. That is why we desire her. Poetic, yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Many scientists are living out my frozen lake and walking into town for work. It's a big pain and ass checkpoint during morning rush hour. Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Dr. Orloff has locked himself inside the cabin. Flush him out! Come on out, Orlov! We are knowing you are being in there!
I will take on Hairless Cream Poodle. You agents try to get Orloff to be coming out. If he will not be coming out, then we will be blowing up cabin. We will not be able to be talking then, I am thinking. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw... very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know. I never finished it. Whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care, facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tavarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuriakin, nice to meet ya.
to be else. Fact should be quite safe in that metal container. They are being far stronger than Rutan ones. Of course, he's not titanium. That stuff is being tremendously strong. And concrete! Woo! Do not be getting me started! Thank <laughs> you. 